Hi guys, good morning. This is Rami. Pretty much excited today because we're going to be unboxing our still mist blower that we have ordered mm, three months ago. And it's finally here together with the banana seedlings. Now uh, we've been using manual sprayer, um, which is okay. But right now the bananas are about 9 to 10 feet. Then we need to use the mist blowers, okay? So let's check it out, unbox it, and let's see how we can get this thing operated, okay? I don't know a thing about this, but it came with a manual, so let's check it out. So right guys, here it is. So it came with two manuals here. And then I paid extra for this extender. All right. So we have that arm there. Then uh, that booster. All right. So I'm going to check out the manual. How we can get this one started all right so there's a lot to check out here all right so i think everything is basic and just some attachment that i need to secure i've already read the manual last night two of them and pretty sure I can figure this out easily. All right. So again, guys, uh, the mist blower steel. What's good about this is that unlike your conventional spray, even if it is four holes uh, spray, this one is it's mist, super mist. Okay. So it has different misting. Uh, filters here. This one goes up. This one straight and spreading. This one is sideways. So it goes two directions sideways. All right. And some uh, some. Uh, Post screw oil, tutti oil, and uh, some screws there. I'm gonna be checking out. Okay, some goggles and then some. Uh, these are fitters for the hose. Okay, all right. Let's check it out for any damages. Alright, because actually we're going to be supplying this one to farmers, or banana farmers. Uh, you can also use this on your vegetables, by the way, not just bananas. So if you're going to be using your vegetables, you don't need this one. You just need this and that one, the booster. Okay. So, um, this is the... You'll turn that one when you turn on the engine. Go back. This is where you're going to be pulling up uh, to start the engine, spark plug here, the gasoline, 
for steel it's um let me show you one liter is to 20 ml of 2t oil so the container is very cool because it has its own uh, gauge already here for 20 ml 10 ml and then 40 ml so this is one liter so you're just gonna use uh, 20 ml all right so the capacity of this one I think it's it's just about two maximums two liters of gasoline but go with one liter per cycle for this one all right so it's a steel SR 5600 all right they've tested this one already from uh, from uh, the supplier my partner supplier and it already worked they just camped it up but they did not connect anything they just checked the engine All right. so from the size of this tank here it's 10 liters okay 10 liters uh, that you can put here but it's suggested that don't go beyond 10 liters just fill it here okay it's gonna be too heavy if you're gonna fill it out right um there's a sturdy uh okay harness here yeah it's really hard it's a good over time it's gonna be us off and it's there's a back cushion here and it has a hard plastic at the back as well all right so that should help the sprayman um with his back it's not gonna be slouching okay so i suggest when we're gonna be using this one i suggest that when we're to make it clean we're also gonna be using clean clothes every time we use this one because over time um some fertilizer, uh, not fertilizer, but uh, the chemicals that you're going to be using for spray it's going to be oily and it's going to stick to your clothes and whatnot. If you're going to keep on re using and repeating those clothes, it's going to be a mess. Alright, we're going to, I'm, I'm going to try to connect using the manual. So. I'm not going to show you while I'm uh, fixing or connecting this one, but I'm going to show you after I'm done. So there's still some gasoline. I think we can crank this up and let's see how it goes, okay? So I'm going to figure this out and I'll get back to you. Alright guys, let's be bookish. So first step is assembling the unit. We're going to be attaching the elbow. Okay. The elbow is this one, All right? So I have to remove the screw from here. All right, be careful. Don't lose that one. So I'll remove that one there. Another one here, remove it. And another one here, remove it. Losing uh, the grip of this one. Yeah, there's a screwdriver there. And then you insert this elbow up, uh, make sure it's snug uh, tightly, and then we're gonna screw everything back in. But I'm gonna read the manual. So before and after, I'm gonna double check the manual and let's see what comes next. All right, so I think I've done it correctly. Now we're gonna move this part uh, going there. All right, let's see what instructions are, instructions are in store for us. All right. Okay, I've already placed the bolts, the screw back there, there, and there. So, ah, uh, it's quite fit. Now, just insert the hose here in its um, hose grip here and another hose grip there. So, we're going to be connecting this one over there. And then I uh, added already 
the other arm here. So we're gonna be adding, let's check out the manual. So extension tube there. So we're gonna be adding that one. So uh, I've already inserted this extension tube. Snug, uh, snugged it tightly because we're gonna be putting that one there. It has its hose grip here. So we're just gonna loosen that one up. Hold that one here. Connect it. This one doesn't have, uh, doesn't have one. So I'm gonna, they have extras here. So I'm gonna be placing that one there as well. All right. So once we're done with the arm, we're gonna review it. And then we're also gonna review the manual again, and let's see if it is correct. All right. All right. All right, for step two, it's done. Uh, Hose from uh, the fertilizer liquid container has been attached here. All right, so don't uh, don't force or grip it too much. It might break the plastic, so just enough. Okay. Well, anyways, we're gonna check this one later on for any leaks. Then we should be able to see. If uh, it needs more uh, tidying, okay. So this, this is the lever, by the way. All right. So zero is stop. So the engine's gonna dive. Just turn off. Then it starts the one there, and it triggers. Okay. So this is a step two. I'm done with step two. I'm gonna discuss the parts later on, but for now, we'll move to whatever um, needs to be attached here for step three. All right, we'll be back. So we're gonna check this one out. Let's see if it's gonna work best to place this one outside because since this is a gasoline it's gonna smoke a lot coming from here all right so we're gonna start the engine to start the engine make sure this lever is at the center and then this one from stop push it up So let's check it out. I placed water already here to test and let's see. So we're gonna start this one but first you have to click choke and put it back to normal just to warm up the engine.
so when the engine starts this one here is um that means in the center means it's gonna stop the flow of the liquid out okay so when the engine starts just turn that turn the this one this cock here to full parallel to the hose and then it should start <laughs> the liquid flowing this is a, a knob where you can control the outflow of the liquid how strong six is the maximum one is minimum okay now if you want to <clears throat> stop the engine from here just push it down okay that should kill the engine right away okay now we have this this one here it's like a filter plastic filter it's gonna be placed here all right so we're gonna test it again let's see I'm not gonna carry this one right now because I don't have a, an assistant all right so let's test it once more so again to start the engine from here push it up make this one at the center and then crank the lever all right let's check Dari ke atas lah Oke lah nanti terus Kuan yun, tumoy Tumoy Taas pa dulong Tumoy 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 Tum